How do y'all, Jeremy Larson with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Penn Fed Realty, Texas. I came to Los Angeles today to Azure Homes or Azure Homes, depending on what part of the country you're from. This little monster right here is a 3D printer and it did this. This is a 120 square foot structure it is made of recycled plastic materials that are printed. I am really fascinated and impressed with what these guys have done. This is an insulated interior core, almost like corrugated, with a printed recycled plastic material outer and inner structure. It's completely self-sustainable. They have painted this white with a UV coating. These will be, this is a prototype, so they will eventually build these in larger sizes. This one, as I was saying, 120 square feet. The interior of this one is luxury vinyl tile. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in there because without furniture, it's a little echoey. Currently, the back and side are regular sheetrock with uh, texture and paint. And the floor and ceiling and sidewall are luxury vinyl tile. Being that this is a prototype, they're going through many different design decisions, different phases. I think the architecture of this is really beautiful. They do ultimately plan to offer something a little bit more traditional, but I think this is a grand start for a prototype. Ultimately, the front here, this is a uh, cement fiber board with a trim detail that they painted in a charcoal color. The structure itself has what I would describe as a backwards D shape, see that? So these are about eight inches thick. There is an insulated core. The idea is that it's almost corrugated on the inside, so it has capacity for plumbing lines, electrical lines, uh, even room for doing a mini split or through the wall air conditioning unit. And depending on the part of the country that you're in, this should work, I would think, for all climates. The UV coating on the outside should last 15 years, and then you basically repaint it again with more UV coating. The curves here were designed for rain. I think that's really cool. So when it's raining, that would sweep down this side, hit this line here, and then splash away from the structure, which is exactly what you want. You want the water to go away from the structure. On the back side here, they've also done cement fiberboard with trim, but they envision having multiple options here for people to have some choice and decision in this. So perhaps this back wall is glass, or perhaps it's got another slider unit, or who knows? They'll come up with some nifty ideas, I have no doubt. Truly impressed by what these guys have done. I can only uh, imagine and totally respect the amount of research that has gone into this just to achieve a printable structure that actually works. A lot of the printed structures I've seen online and have done videos for don't really have a full structure going on. The idea is here, post prototype, is that they will find ways to have larger units, many with kitchens, bathrooms of various different sizes that can be used in a myriad of applications. This particular unit could be used as a uh, an office or an art studio, music room, kids' playroom, little pool cabana, that kind of thing in somebody's backyard. 
If this had a bathroom, it could even serve as an overnight cabin. But larger structures could turn into rental units, work as Airbnbs. There's a lot of possibilities here, and these guys really um, have some great ideas coming. Part of the beauty here is that this does not have to be on a slab. So in Texas, we like to use post-tension slabs for everything. This could sit on piers. This could even sit on dirt because the, the structure wraps completely underneath and up and around. So multitude of, of possibilities here. You could lift this up on a steel structure and have parking beneath it. You could put this on a steel structure and have it sit on a sloped lot or a mountainside. Lots and lots of ideas. I think what Azure is doing here is really incredible and is a major step in the right direction towards offering sustainable, livable structures, uh, many of which could end up being auxiliary dwelling units. Uh, in Texas, for us, that's uh, any unit that's in a backyard of an existing single family home. In other municipalities, it means different things. But for a lot of people, they think of that as a small granny flat or mother-in-law suite that's detached out rear. We'll keep watching these folks. I'm really impressed. I'm not just impressed by the California weather because it's 104 degrees in Dallas today, but nonetheless, very, very cool product. Great possibilities, and I'm really looking forward to what these guys do next. Bye, y'all.